you can't engineer anything without materials. Everything is made of something. You can't make stuff without stuff. And I want all of these students to appreciate that they're sourced in different places in the earth, that they have different desirable and undesirable properties. What am I building this out of and why am I making those choices? That's a really good start to being a good engineer. So this class is an introduction to engineering with a specific focus on material science. In addition to focusing on specific materials, it focuses on the process as a whole. To test something, to look at something with a critical eye, and to go through a step-by-step -step process that can be repeated and that can be used to analyze any sort of material. So the students here are tasked with building their own thermocouple. A thermocouple is a, a really useful device. People use it everywhere to tell different temperature differentials and voltages. They're magical because they are cheap and effective and easy to build. It's one thing to say, I bought this off the shelf, I hope it works. It's another to say, I made this thing and now I actually know how it works. They're not given a step-by-step, -step, do this, do this, do that. No, the, we're, we're in college now, that's kind of a high school thing. And they're encouraged to try things and fail. You get feedback from a lot of different angles and a lot of different opinions. There's no one right answer. This is part of your professional education. The lab that we teach this class in is really special. This is a facility that uses a lot of research grade equipment, but makes it available to undergraduates. They get a chance to use the electron microscope, use the 100,000 Newton load frame, use these infrared and ultraviolet spectrometers to understand the stuff that they're working with and say, what's happening below the surface? What are the atomic and molecular explanations for these engineering phenomena that I'm observing with my eyes and working with with my hands? Every engineer is going to find something in this class that is going to be valuable for them for the kind of engineering they go on to do. Let's make you a good professional as well as someone who knows a lot about science.